Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can display uh, Facebook page data within um, Metamo Analytics. So uh, this refers to the following plugin that you can find, um, so it's Facebook, Facebook page widget. Okay, so as its name stands for it, it allows you uh, to display uh, your Facebook page within the dashboard of, of Matmo. Um, so the idea is that you can pick up your, um, I mean, you can insert uh, the value of your uh, page URL. So it works per uh, website. So you can insert one per website. You cannot yet um, add many uh, pages to one given website. But I guess it's not difficult to make a fork of the plugin and to add additional um, URL fields. So in my case, I decided to put the Facebook page of the Matomo community software. So this way I insert it over here. And as a result, uh, um, what happened is that when you add it as a widget to the dashboard, so it's going to be within social and, and Facebook page, then you are getting uh, the Facebook page displayed here. In your case, when you will do so, it won't work uh, straight away because by default, Matmo is secured. And in fact, when you use this plugin, um, there is what we call the content security policy, which um, let's say is by default set on within Matmo and which uh, will uh, block automatically any, let's say, third party requests sent to a uh, to the server. So to say, uh, what is happening is that by default, your Matomo is set um, like this. Okay, oops, let me do it like this. Um, so now the content security policy is on. So as a result, as you can see, the request is is blocked. Okay, so you can easily check that out by inspecting what what's happening. And as it said here, uh, content security, the settings of the pages have uh, decided to block uh, the execution of the, the script. So in order to do so, you need to access to your server and to edit the config.ini.php uh, the PHP file, or in my case, that's the global.ini.php file because I'm using a special version of Matmo, but only that's within the config.ini.php file. And you can either disable the CSP, so of course it's not recommended because it means that technically Facebook could inject some scripts on your page. And uh, you could also set this one to one. Okay, so the, the two uh, can apply in my case, just for the sake of this example, I'm going to disable this one, but I could definitely just put this value to one as well. Uh, so if I do so, as you can see, uh, there's not going to be any, any CSP anymore. So uh, the data from Facebook will be then uh, loaded. And this is what's going to happen. Oh, we're going to see that you see all those requests from Facebook are now loaded and um, I'm getting it uh, over here. So as I said, I could easily uh, change that out, put it on and then just have uh, the CSP report only. So here it's going to throw me some, let's say, um, some warning messages, but it's going to let it pass anyway. So that's what we're going to get. You see content security policy and they say, hey, we block, uh, I mean, they say, hey, we blocked a part of it. Some stuff could not be loaded, but it's going to load it anyway. And that's everything that I wanted to show you. So as a result, of course, as a community manager, you can always keep an eye on your Facebook page. You can as well click and go directly on your Facebook page and see what's going on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.